want to like talk to each other. Oh, whichever, I guess. Hmm. I might hop on with you in a second. Okay. I'm going to pull it up. Because I certainly can't focus on Phoenix Wright and a podcast at the same time. Yeah. I'm still on from earlier, so sure. You're what? I'm still on from earlier. Oh, The man. baby and I played this morning. The baby. This is episode 42 of Are You Playing Animal Crossing right now? Yes. The answer should be yes. So Howard came over today. Huh? Oh, Sarah did. She gave me some bullshit. <laughs> I don't invite her in anymore because she only does the front room. Yeah. And I hate that. I want her to look at my other rooms. If she could evaluate other rooms in the home, I would have her over all the time. Literally unplayable. You heard it right here, folks. Don't buy this game. It's not good because Sahara is a cheap bitch. One star Yelp review. Well, anyway, that's about all. That's about all. <laughs> what you doing? Um, play Animal Crossing. Oh. Sounded like you were doing illicit activities. Oh, uh, no. ASMR all the way. I have an item for you. Cool. I have a soda case. I don't know if you have one. Yes. Well, then I'm just going to sell it because fuck you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Well, you want to talk Animal Crossing or do you want to talk feelings? Um, Neither, I guess. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have any specific items to bring up, so this might just be like a bullshit episode. They usually are. I mean, there's usually a purpose, though. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're, you're a bullshit episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, one thing I, uh, I'm curious of is, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm worried that I'm too harsh on your cat. And I, I, oh. I bring this up a lot, I think. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, not bad that you bring it up this often. I just feel bad that your cat and I don't get along. But I mean, to be fair, I warned you way ahead of time. I'm not the one fighting you on it. Honey. Oh, I know. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, I, I realize this is a long standing. Y'all just don't like each other. <laughs> We're not going to get rid of him, though. Like, sorry. You can joke about killing him all you want, but. Unless he seriously hurts a member of our family. I'm not just going to, like, get rid of him. I don't even know how you get rid of an outdoor cat. We're not just going to go drive him somewhere and abandon him. Well, that's how you do it. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> I love him, and he loves me, and I am his mommy. Okay. Well. Well. Well what? <laughs> well. Okay. I mean, at least not until we've exhausted every option, which... Putting him in baby jail nightly seems to be working so far. Hey, real talk. Who's got a green zap helmet? Anybody? <laughs> what for the baby? I don't know. Does she have one? I got her a green zap suit. Okay, I've got the a shirt. green helmet now. It's not a dress, though. I feel bad about that, but it's the green one. It's a shirt. They come in dresses? Yeah, isn't the one you got me a dress? The pink one? Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was. I thought it was like a whole dress. Don't know. IDK, LOL. But I'm not going to just throw my cat into a different region of our town. Especially if the complaint that you have against him, which is he keeps you up, can be solved by putting him in baby jail across the house. Well, on, I mean, outside the house, on the opposite side. Yeah. Other than that, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but the complaint you have is that he's not a snuggly cat. Um, Sure. And that's not going to change. He's just not a snuggly cat. He doesn't want to be pet with his hands. If you pet him with your hands, he's going to bite you. And that's just a fact. If you put your hand on him, he's not going to like it. Well, that's dumb. So. Well, I don't really care. It's been like that forever. So if you want to pet him, then that's just what you're going to get. Okay. I don't know if that's harsh, but I mean, it's, it's just a matter of like, are you going to accept him or not? Accept him? Yeah. He already lives outside. He doesn't come in the house at all. That was kind of the stipulation or what we kind of, that was what was decided on, I guess. The gripes were that he's aggressive and he ruins the furniture. Well, now he is not around inside and he has no contact with the furniture. Yeah, I agree. Do you just not want me to have this cat? Um, I mean, that's certainly not it. 
okay, then we have to find a middle ground somewhere. Okay. Because I don't want to get rid of him. I love my cat a lot. I like where he is. Because I don't have to deal with him inside. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, as long as... Yeah. As long as we agree that he doesn't have to keep keeping me up at night. Because he likes to do that. That's why I'm saying let's stick him in the carrier at night. Yeah, and we have. So, okay. I'm curious what the concern is then beyond that. It it seems harsh to have to keep him in a cage because he can't shut up. Well, because he, he's too dumb to not bother us at 4 a.m. Well, the thing is, you can either accept it how it is and then make changes to the situation to respond to that, or you can wish it weren't happening. He's not going to stop screaming at butthole at a clock every day. He's just not. Okay. That's just how it is. <laughs> okay. And we've reached a conclusion that he's just going to sleep in his cage. Yes. Which seems cruel, but fine. He's not my cat, so whatever. If that's better, then... I don't know if he'd be any happier, like, being dumped in some other part of the city. Okay. Or the town or wherever we live. Fair. And at listeners, if you have actual veterinary experience and want to weigh in on that, please do. Because this conversation has only been going on for, like, 11 months now. So, hit me up. I'm I'm happy with the agreement that we've reached. I hope I don't, you know, make it seem otherwise. I'm getting defensive because I don't know what else I can do <laughs> to make you happy with the arrangement of my cat already living outside. And like, yeah, he sucks inside and he's not happy inside. So I think it's good that he's outside. But I still hear from you all the time that we should get rid of him or that like, I hate your cat. Like, ah, he might not survive this next time. Like, I mean, yeah, he jumped up in the attic again. <laughs> so don't leave the door open. <laughs> I was working. Angry man. Well, that's frustrating to like. My neighbor keeps trying to move away. Stop it. I like you. Stop trying to move. This is like the third time. Is my cat stressing you out to the, to the level that you need to <laughs> take substances? No. Okay. I'm okay with the cat arrangement. Okay. I just feel bad about it sometimes because, I don't know, he's your cat. Like, I, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to make an attempt, but he's really impossible to get along with. <laughs> I don't feel like it's me at all. <laughs> How's the thing you put it? You two just don't get along? Yeah, we just don't. Okay. I'm not insisting that you get along. I don't know. But it just feels shitty. Why? I don't know. I guess because I'm sick of shitty cats. I mean, you agree he's kind of a shitty cat. I like him when he's outside. He's okay. (laughs) I mean, he doesn't really do anything for, like, the family as far as the capacity of a pet. Other than just eat food. Right? I mean, maybe for you. I sit out there and snuggle with him just about every day. Well, nobody else can. What, so if I didn't bring enough to share for the class, I can't have any at all? (laughs) I didn't say that. (laughs) Oh, I thought that was funny. And this is kind of what we were talking about the other day. We can get... An indoor cat that actually likes human affection from people that aren't me. Or that aren't just me. Having the cat outside doesn't mean that we can't get a cat inside. Yeah. And it seems that it does mean that to you. Kind of. Which I want to understand. (laughs) I don't know. I don't feel like this pet is doing well, so why would we get another one? Okay. I mean, that seems to make sense. It's not like all cats are the same. No. What do you define as doing well? Because you just said you were happy with the arrangement. Is it going well or not? Is, do you think we're really stunting my cat's development? Are we hurting him this way? Is he detrimental to the family? Like, what's going on? Not doing well means that, like, it's actively going poorly. I mean, he just has to sleep in a, a cage at, at night. That, that's not ideal. If I'm not making sense, we can move on. Yeah, I just don't really know what to say, because it... 
It really feels like I'm doing everything I can to make the situation workable with my cat. And now you're telling me that it's kind of bordering on what? Like animal abuse? Am I being cruel to him? When I didn't even want to put him outside in the first place. And he's doing better out there, so I don't know what else I can do. I don't think I'm being cruel to my cat. And that hurt my feelings that that is what you were insinuating, at least. That's what I thought you were insinuating. I don't know. I, I've always been against having an animal that I keep in a cage. I'm I'm not, like, passing judgment, though. That's just me personally. So I'm not trying to be mean to you or your cat. Well, I don't know what to do. I feel like every suggestion or every solution I'm coming up with and actually putting into place is just not enough. And now it means that I'm being cruel. I know you're not passing judgment, but, like, I don't really... It doesn't feel like anything I'm doing is actually being accepted. <laughs> No, I'd say that I think it's working out fine. It's 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 going well. <laughs> Make up your mind. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is for now. Thanks for, I guess, compromising on whatever. <laughs> on what? <laughs> I, I guess just whenever I have an issue with them, you do try and fix it. So thanks. Welcome. I mean, it is appreciated. I promise. Okay, thanks. All right, what's next? Because I currently hate this. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Oh, um. I'm putting in my new KK Safari into my dice stereo. Because my home is rad as fuck. <laughs> I don't actually know. Oh, um. Therapy kind of sucked this past week. I mean, mine kind of did too. Really? All right, you just talked about politics, which is funny and unsurprising. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot covered, for whatever reason. Sometimes it's just one of those days. I know my session was... We just didn't get a lot done. And I kind of had just had enough of reinforcing that there's no way out of my work situation right now. You and I talked about this some more, that like... The question doesn't have any sort of satisfactory answer. <laughs> it's because I'm able to, I lead, the, I lead the questions and I build the case up on both sides because there are lots of reasons to stay and lots of reasons to leave. But there is no straightforward right answer. And everyone I talk to, following the exact template I'm giving them, um, says like, well, it's, you know, wow, it sounds like you should leave. And then, oh, well, maybe, you know, it sounds important that you shouldn't leave. Like, is it okay that I leave or not? <laughs> Definitely yelled at my therapist. He'll be fine, I promise. Um, I was just so frustrated. And that's, I, th I guess that's just the same feeling that I'm having about the cat conversation. It's like, is what I'm doing enough or not? <laughs> can I keep him outside or not? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Someone just make up their minds so I can continue do doing what I'm doing or change. Which is just reaction behavior as opposed to acting. I'm just trying to do the right thing and it doesn't feel like I'm doing the right thing at all. Or I keep getting turned around and told that I'm wrong, which is just work right now. So, I don't think the cat thing's not even really about the cat. I just, I, feel, I think that I just keep being told that I'm wrong over and over, and I'm really, really, really at the end of my rope about it. No, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Sorry, I, I don't know. I know, it's not you. It's I, me projecting or just bringing that work frustration home. It's just kind of leaking into everything. That makes sense. Thanks. I love you. Sorry. I love you. That makes sense. Yeah, and that's that was a big childhood theme growing up, is that no matter what I did, I was literally always wrong, so why the fuck should I even try at all? Yeah. And that's, I kind of mentioned in last week or whatever, the previous episode about, like, <laughs> that feeling, like, over time, that breaks me a little bit. It actually gets me where like, God, there's um there's a turnover lyric. Um something like uh there's a voice that I hear always telling me it doesn't matter. Um and it can hurt my head, but it can sound so sweet. That's kinda like, yeah, it feels really bad to be like, Well, cool, nothing matters, and then it just becomes like your well fuck, why do anything anyway? Like it sounds good to kind of fall into that, but it is really bad. Depressed lady. Yeah, seriously. Well that's what happens when you just like ugh. 
you're just being told you fucking suck at every turn or that you can't do anything right no matter how hard you try. What's the point anyway? And it just sort of starts to take over your perspective on other things you're doing too. Like I feel trapped. <laughs> so I'm mm. just frustrated. I'm going to go to the island. Do you want to come? No. I'd rather just chat. It's hard for me to <laughs> do other things and podcast. Okay. Is it okay that I'm doing Animal Crossing and podcasting? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. as long as we keep this going, sure. Okay. I mean, unless you're just done, and then that's fine, too. I'm not done. Okay. I just want to go catch bugs, because I was on earlier today, so I've already, like, done all my fossils and went shopping and stuff. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sorry, I'm unpleasant. That's Sometimes not like fair. That. that sounds exactly right. <laughs> Regarding me talking about me. Thanks for taking me out to the bar, though. You're welcome. Catherine's going to sing to me. Do you want me to serenade the podcast? Sure. I wrote so hard. I stayed up all night long to write me girl a song. And it turned out great. I poured me hard on the page. And I rented me a stage. But her dad was so mad said ain't no way <laughs> she'll stay out past eight <laughs> I don't know what kind of shampoo you be using but it makes you smell like an angel <laughs> oh this ain't goodbye I will see you again that's how it goes whenever you're you're my friend I knew that part thank you Thank you. What you doing? Um, moving stuff around. Can you do that in podcast at the same time? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have much else to talk about. I don't know. We kind of had a fight the other night, I guess. Ooh, what was it about? I don't know. We just went to sleep and gave it up. Uh, I do not remember what we're talking about. I think I was just picking on you too hard. Oh, yes, you hurt my feelings. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really see that as a fight. It's okay that you did. Well, yeah. Or just a little like me. Um. Yeah, not a fight, but when I... When was that? Yeah. Two nights ago. Okay. It's happened... Not recently. But there was another instance, like, last month or something. I'm like, yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time in close quarters, so we're going to annoy each other sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you were just picking on me a whole bunch. It's okay. I mean, that's just part of me saying, if it's bothering me, I'm going to tell you. And it was bothering me, so I told you. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, specifically. Oh, it was... <laughs> the, the, line, the line that you pull, that I'm being mean to you. Yeah. And that's actually really hard. It's kind of like last episode we talked a bit and other episodes we've talked about this where getting like jokes about me being dysfunctional are really hard for me to process because I need real feedback and not joke feedback. And it makes me feel really bad. Like, oh, fuck, I was being a terrible person. Like, it just kind of messes with my head because I'll think that I was actually being really mean and I'll feel really bad about it. That makes sense. I just because of my experiences, it it can be kind of gaslighty by accident. Like, you're not gaslighting me, but that's what it kind of turns into in my own head. Like, I know you're not abusing me. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, once you've said that I'm being mean to you, like, well, fuck. <laughs> I have to go back through everything I just said, and, like, I think I am being really mean. Even if you were just kidding. It just makes that a little bit stressful when it's not really needed. That makes sense. Well, I just asked you to do it less often. You can still say it. Word police lady. Yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about. Sorry. Sorry, I don't either. I was like, yeah, let's record. And then I have zero things to contribute besides getting butt hurt and woe is meing per usual. Well, I mean, you've been super busy. You're on the edge of graduating and yeah, I think yeah work's kind of hard. And I don't know, momming is kind of hard. Yeah. I mean, you're 24, you were tossed into being a mom, so. And I'm not even a mom. God, it's hard. We talked about that earlier. Yeah, last night, right? Last night? Yeah. 
yeah, we were watching a video before bed and she was kind of laying on me and she goes, miss stepmom, like, I love you. And I said, I love you too. And she goes, I love my real mom. It's like, she loves you too. And then she runs over to you and goes, I love my real daddy. It's like, this is strange. Yeah. <laughs> She didn't mean anything by it, but I'm like, this feels very strange, and I feel very awkward now, and slightly rejected. I didn't do anything about it. Like, I was fine. It wasn't that bad. I just kind of stiffened for a second, and I made it through. But <laughs> I'll just never be her real mom, and, like, I, I want to be a mom, which is really bizarre for me, honestly. It makes sense. I mean, I didn't want to be a mom until, what, last year? But, yeah, it's... I've read a lot of, um, I mean, posts and articles and shit by other stepmoms. Stepdads don't seem to have the same tug, the same sort of difficulty in this role. I'm not sure why not. Maybe they just write fewer things about it and I haven't found them, but I see a lot from stepmoms, definitely. That like you, <laughs> part of being a step parent or a stepmom specifically is just you always live a little bit in the world of rejection. You just have to because they're not your kids and you're not their parent. And it's, there's a lot of thanklessness, thanklessness to the job. There's a lot of reward to it. It's not like, oh, this just sucks. You never get good stuff. But there's a lot of thanklessness and a lot of like, you are parenting, but you never will be the like biologically bonded, like unconditional love sort of figure, you know? Yeah, that's only one step removed from being an actual parent, though. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Being an actual parent can be pretty thankless. I mean, this doesn't, this little person doesn't realize that <laughs> they wouldn't be alive if I wasn't here. True, but she only tells you she loves you every 15 seconds. Well, I mean, yeah, but I've conditioned her to do that, so. <laughs> True stories. I'm interested to see what your dynamic with her is going to look like as she gets older. Just kind of like how you guys are going to, I mean, what your relationship's going to be like, especially as she gets older and like starts to push back on more stuff. Ooh, teenage years. I'm just interested to watch, honestly. Yeah. Yes, that sounds kind of creepy, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm genuinely interested to see how you guys grow together and, like, how the parenting style you have evolves as she gets older. And we touched on it a teeny tiny bit last time. Was that <laughs> there are lots of perks to being a step-parent and not a full parent. Like, when I get tired of something, I can just step away. <laughs> Or that there are lots of, it's, it can be really freeing when, like, not having all the decision-making power on your shoulders. That okay. makes sense. Yeah, I wanted to cover that there's a lot of positives in, like, in being a step-parent, too. Obviously, of course, other than having, like, the freaking love of this kid and, like, getting to nurture them as well and being a support person for them. Because that's a reward in itself, of course. But in the day-to-day, -day, it is nice. It's it's easy to forget and nice to remember that you also like you are not the sole provider for this kid. If you're having a hard time, like that's okay. You can step away. So thankful for that as well. <laughs> that's easy to forget. It's just ups and downs. Yeah. And I am an up and down personality person. So <laughs> extra. I feel like you've been doing well though thanks yeah i mean i don't know you just seem to be doing well if that makes sense i mean yeah i think we have a good relationship you'd certainly let me know if we did not <laughs> yeah my yeah i'd be quick too yeah my therapist um whew, i cried so much in my last session oh my god i was a mess i needed to be i was having a really hard week um but he brought up like, we've talked about this, where if you are not doing well with your stepdaughter, your boyfriend is going to tell you, like, that is a deal breaker, step one, very important thing. And he's done it before. And he'll do it again. It's like, so can we just trust him that he knows you and is looking out for his family's best interest? I'm like, fine. I was not happy to have him be right about something. But he was right about that. I mean, yeah. Okay, that's 30 minutes. 
<laughs> I'm going to edit that down in like 20 minutes, like probably. 15. <laughs> I love you. Can Take we just care. hang out? Yeah, can we play video games in the same room? Yeah. I want to play Gris. Green? Grease? Don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to play The Sims too. <laughs> I'd like to play that too. I've never played The Sims, and it looks... The way you explained it was fun. I love the game. It's, it's just, interesting. It's just Animal Crossing, but with all humans. <laughs> I just want to decorate my house. Yeah, kind of. Also, there are no fucking bugs out on the island right now, so I might as well quit. I love you. Sorry. I love you. Bye. I love you. Sorry.